Welcome back. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Mark Snake Undergrass Golden. Now try to crawl out and Nigel have to chop off your head. Now I'll show you something right now. When you hit the like button, people. If you go by the title of this article here, you will be misled. Golden claps back at Clark stating Finsack and SSL bailouts are different. So in other words, Nigel Clark has said, it's not the same thing, but the snake in a grass, Golden, is trying to use SSL as an example of what happened with Finsac. So I can read the article now. Opposition leader Mark Golden has hit back at Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark's comments that the government's treatment of embattled investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited is not similar to the bailout of the 1990s. All wicked and liar. Minister Clark recently outlined that the government will be taking over the payment of the firm's employee in addition to its operating cost now look golden and the whole of them no say when it come on to the ssl thing even though it are gonna be very expensive in order to get to the seat of what's really happened them have to keep the firm open and keep the regular employees them employed until they get to the, the, the meat of the matter. Now, I've been in this situation before, you know. Company got in a receivership. Pricewaterhouse Coopers stepped in. It's just a receivership. It's a temporary thing that the government is stepping in to do. And it's the right thing. But here comes Mark for under the grass. I can try to distort the thing while accusing Nigel of distorting facts. Mr. Minister Clark recently outlined that the government will be taking over the payments of the firm's employees in addition to its operating costs. So in reaction to comparisons to the FinSAC bailouts which took place during the financial crisis of the 1990s, the minister stated that unlike many of the entities supported by FinSAC, the government support of SSA will not see the retention of shareholders and those persons who will not benefit. Now, this is very important to know because what people don't understand about FinSAC you know, is that the FinSAC bailout really went to the shareholders at the big banks. You know. And what they basically do is them take what they want of the money them from the poor people and raise up the interest rate, liquidate them business, and they kept their shareholders solid. I have an article writer so by Kevin O'Brien Chang where he spoke about the fact that it was like a grip. You know what I'm trying to say already? It was like a grip of the, 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 the poor to take care of the rich. Because at the end of the day, what, what FinSAC really did was then protect them shareholders and make the little people them suffer. So in that same article, I'm going to put it up. Hilton, you know. Patrick Hilton, who, be, who, who went on to become the CEO of NCB, he was a part of FinSAC too, you know. So, when O'Brien write this article way back in the 2001, you know, Hilton reached out to him, you know, attorney reached out to him and tell him to withdraw libelous statements about what truly happened. But he did well in helping to liquidate the, the assets of the people who suffered the 44,000 businesses and the, the 150 much closer to 200 financial institutions and after that he went on to become the big man in a ncb in a post to social media golden did say you know, the idea that entities bailed out by finsac retained their existing ownership citing like you know are bringing up life of jamaica ncb just talk about that citizens bank and among other examples so what i must know is that him further question whether the minister was just trying to distort information. But Nigel Clark hit back and said, listen, in the case of NCB, NCB did retain their shareholders and the big money people that were investing at the bank who did get the whole of the people them thing liquidated to them to make sure so when the financial meltdown took place that them the people eh, could have remained solvent while the others became insolvent and went into liquidation and then they end up and share up the people them thing and sell back the people them property sell back them businesses for five cents on the dollar and so on and mark golden was also a beneficiary of this I uh, see the man coming out, I can try to defend Finzak. What a bare faced man like a disabridging. Clark basically say, in a them the case there, in a NCB case, he said those shareholders remained involved and intact. And I him have the report. That's why the report can't come out, you know, man. 
Him also argued that the opposition leader had conveniently failed to cite some of FinSAC's largest interventions, which means to say bigger things that are going out there and gold in them did know. And we already know because we pull up them article here, you know, in our previous videos. And them did did it and a, and, a, and a benefit all along. But this is how they try to deceive people. If the government are keep the company in a one temporary hole. It is fine. Keep the innocent employee them or whatever until the probe finish. I don't like a Finsack who step in and sell off everybody business. And I've been waiting enough to see Mark Golden say something publicly about Finsack, you know. I see it, yeah? So here them come now with their whole hypocritical self. Them are demand the JLP administration be transparent regarding the financial burdens which the government will carry. Them they are small fry. Oh no, they wipe out 44% of GDP. I saw them try to score their look at idiot political points them. And full of people all the while. And that's all about members of the public have also criticized the government. Four no people them do it. Four no people them who are trying to make it look like the government is doing what y'all did in the 90s. I will now go stop talking about it. Clark won this argument. Big up Nigel Clark exposing the foolishness for make them know say it is not one and the same thing. I don't need to get the people them in a finsack right because I will now go stop talking about it.